everyone. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. I'm back for another Science Sunday. Are you ready? Right, today we are going to try and do a magic milk experiment. So, for this, you will need a shallow plate of milk. Um, you know me, I love my food colouring, so you are going to need some food colouring for this experiment. Um, I've got three different colours here, a teeny tiny bit of yellow left and I've got some green and some blue. You will need some washing up liquid and you will need some cotton buds. Right, the idea is we put the food colouring in the milk, so you kind of dot it around. Um, oh. Right, at the moment, it doesn't look like much, does it? I'm just going to pop a bit of blue in, a bit of blue there, a bit of blue there, why not? Right, yeah, it doesn't look like much at the moment. But let's see what happens when we dip the cotton bud inside, well, in the washing up liquid. So I've just covered that with the washing up liquid. Let's see what happens when I put it on the food colouring. Ooh. Wow, can you see the colours start to disperse? I wonder what happens if I do a bit of green? Oh, that's blue. Wow, let me try, let me get another cotton bud. And just pop it in there. Can you see wherever I put the cotton bud with the washing up liquid in, the colour starts to spread out? Sorry, it's my hand in my. Let me try and get some more. I think the blue's definitely overpowered the other colours in this experiment. And can you see how it's spread out now? And made a cool pattern. Right, I'm trying it again with less milk this time because that's what we do in science. We test, we explore, we experiment. So I've got a bit less milk in it this time. And this time, because the blue um, was quite overpowering last time, I'm just going to try green this time, see what happens. So I'm just going to plop in a few blobs of green. And then I'm going to get my cotton bud again. And I'm going to dip it in the washing up liquid. Let's see what happens this time. Ooh. Ooh. Can you see the washing up liquid reacts with the food colouring and the milk? I wonder what happens if I swirl it. And then it makes... Oh look, if I move it around... Yeah, it causes it to kind of spread out and you can make like a cool pattern in the milk. Right, I'll um, stop there and I'll let you have a go at home now. So let's see what kind of patterns you can make. I look forward to seeing what colours you use. And yeah, don't forget to send in your pictures and videos on Twitter, on Facebook and let us know how you get on with your magic milk experiment. Bye!